Our thesis. In the 1930s and 1940s, two men, Frank Little of Great Britain and Hans von Ohain of Germany, developed their ideas for jet engines. Both men's designs and ideas revolutionized many aspects of aerial warfare. When Orville and Wilbur Wright made the first flight on December 17, 1903, they changed the world. They brought mankind into the air. The first airplanes used piston engines that spun propellers allowing the plane to fly. These propellers could make the plane fly, but two different men believed there was a better way to power an airplane. Two different men, both working in two separate countries, developed the jet engine. During their developments, neither even knew of the other's work. One of the men was named Frank Whittle of Great Britain. Whittle was passionate about aviation, even when he was just a young boy. When he grew older, he joined Great Britain's Royal Air Force. Frank Whittle was just a young officer when he first thought of the jet. The idea first came to me as a cadet when we had to write a science thesis. I chose my subject, the future development of aircraft, Frank Whittle. He thought that aircraft would fly faster and further if they could reach high altitudes where there was less air resistance. This was not possible with a piston engine, so he decided that rocket propulsion or gas turbines was the way to go. Frank Whittle patented his plans for a turbine engine in 1930. He proposed his plans to the Royal Air Force, but they thought his ideas were foolish and didn't want to help him. So in 1935, he started his own company, Power Jets Limited. Actual testing of his jet engine began in 1936. The other man who developed the first jet engines was Hans von Ohain of Germany. In the 1930s, he was hired by the German aircraft company Heinkel. He was a bright young physicist, full of ideas. Von Ohain's testing began in 1937. Later that year, he constructed a full-scale jet engine. It couldn't power a plane, but it showed that jet engines had a very strong potential. Although Whittle began his testing before Von Ohain, Whittle was not the first to get a jet plane off the ground. The first jet plane made its historic flight on August 27, 1939. It was called the Heinkel HE-178, powered by a jet made by Hans von Heim. A plane powered by a Whittle engine followed two years later, in May of 1941. It was called the Gloucester E-2839. The first American jet plane was the Bell XP-59. It first flew in 1942. The XP-59 was powered by two engines manufactured from Whittle's designs. All countries wanted to keep their early jet planes secret, so they went to extreme measures to keep them hidden. The Americans tried to disguise their XP-59 as a propeller plane. The next major leap in jet technology was the German Messerschmitt Me-260. The two-engine aircraft was the first jet-powered airplane to fly in combat. It arrived in the midst of World War II, and from its first mission struck fear into the hearts of British and American bomber crews and fighter pilots throughout the European front. Although the ME-262 didn't make a huge impact on the war, it did make its impact on combat aviation technology. It brought new ideas like using jets in combat and having slanted back wings, allowing it to fly at very high speeds. When the first jet planes flew, their inventors were happy that their work was successful. The pilots of these planes were also very pleased. Sheer pleasure. Seldom have I been so enthusiastic during my first flight with a new aircraft. Fritz Wendel, German test pilot. Fritz Wendell was a test pilot for the ME-262. Although he loved the first jet planes, some people didn't, especially the people who had to fight against them. Many British and American airmen were terrified to fight against the German technology. The new jet planes were so fast, they could outrun any other planes in the world. In 1949, just a few years after the invention of the jet, aviation writer Robert Blackburn believed that nothing would ever be more successful in aviation than the jet engine. Some may, may say his beliefs are still true to this day. The jet engine affected aerial warfare in many ways. The jet began to affect warfare when the ME-262 entered combat. The jet has continued to affect warfare ever since. The jet has changed many aspects of aerial warfare. It allows fighter planes to fly faster, bombers to carry more bombs, cargo planes to carry more cargo, and countless other things as well. In World War II, the American's best fighter plane was the North American P-51 Mustang. The P-51 could fly 437 miles per hour and 41,000 feet high. Just a few short years after World War II and the Korean War, the North American F-86 Sabre was American's best fighter plane. The F-86 could fly nearly 200 miles per hour faster 
and almost 10,000 feet higher than the P-51. Both the P-51 and F-86 were made by the aircraft company North American. Each had single engines, they both had six machine guns, but one difference made the F-86.